Hey guys, so I was just browsing my subreddit the other day when I I meandered upon this. <laughs> uh, guys, I just found his old deviant art from 2012 and it's the best thing I've ever seen. And oh boy, what a good start to a post. I love when things I made when I was 12 come to light now that I'm an adult. And the same person also found my old Minecraft forum account with the same Nyan Cad profile picture, so <laughs> I figured now that this has been exposed, I might as well get a video out of it, right? And basically this is a self-expose video where I'm just going back to the 2012-2014 era and um, j just seeing what what little Slaz was up to. Okay, so here we've got it. We've got the account Slazo567, also known as Michael. Okay, so what is this? We've got Michael, artist. I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Australia, nothing really special. I think that's like my bio. I just put, yeah, yeah, nothing special. <laughs> it's, it's honest. Favorite movies, How to Train Your Dragon and Cloudy with a Chance of Me. I loved Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Oh my God. I, you remember that song? Fucking da da da, da da da. Uh, <laughs> favorite TV shows, Master Chef. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I. I have no defense. And a show called Good Game Spawn Point, which, um, we'll get back to that later. A favorite band slash musical artist? No one. Not into music. <laughs> Fair. My, my music back then consisted of listening to the Nyan Cat song, like, unironically, on repeat, and listening to Revenge by Captain Sparkles on repeat. So, uh, I, I was quite the Fantana. Favorite writers? Chris Polini, blah, 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 on fanfiction. Um... Let's ignore that one. Let's ignore that one. <laughs> oh no. But the most beautiful thing, my my magnum opus here is other interests, drawing. Nyan cat and troll face. Mwah. I what can I say? I <laughs> I peaked at age 12. I was something back then. Oh boy. <laughs> I what? Oh boy, I'm gonna regret making this video so much. It's it's only gonna get worse. Okay, but before we move on from DeviantArt, there's also something I've got to show you, right? Okay, so this DeviantArt here, I made it, and then I couldn't find the login, so I I, I lost it. Um, I lost the account, it's just there now. So, I made another one, which you guys haven't found yet. So rather than Slazo567, it's Slazo765. Genius. Okay, so the account seems a bit more plain all round. Um, I I use my full name though, so I was I was getting a bit ballsier. Also, yeah, that's my full name, Michael Kacharski. There you go, have it. It it's all yours. Yeah, that one person who recently drew me as Mike Wazowski, you were so close. Okay, let's see the interests here. Um, favorite movies? I don't watch movies. Favorite TV shows or TV? Okay, I don't watch anything. Our favorite bands? King Phoenix. And Eminem, who the hell is King Phoenix? There you go. Okay, so it's all just blah blah blah, boring, until Tools of the Trade, Wacom Bamboo Tablet, and a Blue Snowball Mic. I remember saving up for that graphics tablet and that mic for so long when I was like, I think I was 14 at the time I must have been. Like, I saved up for months for those things, man. And then never made a cent off them. And that's kind of how my YouTube thing began back in the day, actually. Like, I saw people like PewDiePie, and I knew that I wanted to do YouTube in some respect. But I didn't... I was too self-conscious to show my face, and I didn't... Like, I, I come from a big family where there's a lot of noise and not much time. I didn't have a computer. So I knew I couldn't do that. So I saw, like, animators making animations and wanted to do that. I didn't end up actually doing it, but uh, that's how I started off making things when I was a little feeder. So yeah, there we go, a little bit of Slazo history. Let's move on to the uh, Minecraft forums. Oh boy. Uh, let, let's see what I posted here. And again, I've got the same Nyan Cad profile picture, which I thought was very epic at the time. So on March 31st, 2012, so I would have been 11, nearly 12. I posted, Hey Jack, I think this mod is an awesome start, and I hope you get really good at it, and I hope your brother gets awesome at styling cupcakes. 
I remember this was a friend who made a cupcake Minecraft mod and I wanted to give him a bit of support, help him out, so I left this comment. Um, <laughs> I was a wholesome kid. I'd like to join. I'm 11 turning 12s. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'd really like to go on a friendly server with no swearing or griefing. Oh! Oh, that... You sweet soul, 12-year-old me. Wait, 11, nearly 12-year-old me. My mistake. I really want to be a master builder. So, I'd really like to be on creative, but I'm not really fussed about that. Please let me on the server. This was like at the beginning of when I was just being introduced to the internet and I was an 11 year old kid who was as white a boy as a white boy can be. Like I was brought up Catholic, very um, very no swearing, very um, you know, straight cut little kid. And I, I just wanted to be a master builder and swearing re really terrified me. I was terrified of, <laughs> of, profanity online. I thought I wasn't allowed to be there. And I liked this internet thing, but I was really terrified of it. I like I I just wanted a little little Christian zone of it. You know, I wanted a little Oh, it's it's so wholesome. <laughs> Please whitelist me. I got the server ready, but I can't go on because I'm not whitelisted. I really want to build some really great. So this what does that <laughs> Oh boy. I really want to build some really great. So this will be a really great opportunity for me. Like, <laughs> would it be, um, really great, would it? And that's about it. That's all I ever posted, really. So, um, next. Okay, now next. Do you remember that show I mentioned I really liked earlier? And a show called Good Game Spawn Point, which, um, we'll get back to that later. Well, basically what that was, was a game review show oriented at kids. It was, um... It was the shit, I'm not gonna lie, I loved it. And there was a segment of the show where the viewers could submit their own questions, which the host would then answer. And I submitted one, and it got on the show, and let's have a look at it. Well, let's see when this was first. It was, da 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 26th of May 2012, so I would have been just one month over... 12. I would have been 12 years old. Oh well, moving on to this one from Slazo. It's 567 in uh, PSV yes! Deville. I um, made it on. Queensland. Hey, good game. You guys are awesome. I was wondering, is Journey coming out for PS Vita? If not, what would you recommend I get? PS, Darren is a Noobasaurus Rex. <laughs> PS, X is all. <laughs> Yes! I got on this show! And now, years later, I'm wondering why why did I send that question? PPPPS. Are you impressors with my spelling and punctuation? PPPPPS. Okay, last one. Could you please say hi to my friends Zach and Darcy? I thought, okay, I thought I, I was a comedic genius for thinking of... Are you impressors with, with my spelling and punctuation? Because, guys, do you get it? There's a typo in the sentence. Oh my <laughs> yes. So yes, yeah, shout out Zach and Darcy, some of my oldest friends who I'm still friends with to this day. Uh, and I'm sure it's thanks to my good game spawn point question. Sorry to say, Slazo, but the developer of Journey has said flat out they won't be making a Vita version, so it does not seem likely. No! Guys, this is so sad. Can we get Journey on the PS Vita? The the wildly successful PS Vita? <laughs> that, that so many people made games for. And we are totally impressed with your spelling and hello, Zach and Darcy. Hello. Actually, hold on. Let me find the hosts of that. Um, Bonjour, I follow you. And is this, is this, oh my God, it's right there. Okay, I follow both of you. There we go. Now you two had, had better shout out Zach and Darcy or, <laughs> you better shout out Zach and Darcy again or I'm gonna... I'm gonna use some lethal force here. No, but not gonna lie, that was a very, very cool thing for me to see my question on the show. Even if looking back years later, I absolutely cringe at the question I asked. But that was probably the first appearance of the Slazo name that like more than five people actually saw. So thank you, Hex and Bajo from Good Game Spawn Point. You legends. Man, that was nostalgic. Like that was such a big part of my childhood.
This is a wholesome video. I like this video as w weirdly embarrassing as it is. Anyway, now let's move on a little bit down the timeline to when I was, I think, 13 and I made my Tumblr account. Uh, we're, we're going steadily downhill and we're not going up. Okay, so here I'm Slazo567. I have 256 posts. None of them are mine. They're all just me reposting, like, they're all just me basically doing the Tumblr equivalent of retweeting. Um, and it's all just memes. Okay, now this is a good way to have a little window back to my sense of humor from years come and gone. Let's see. When someone plays with my hair and there's an owl that's like, oh yes, that's, that's, that's epic. I remember at this time, I really loved relatable posts. Like, I, I, I think it was my first time seeing that kind of humor and it just blew me away. I was like, oh, other people like having their hair played with as well? Who was playing with my hair at that age? Yeah, so thank you, lol, that's me, post 1091. You made my childhood. You cannot wish to have more wishes. I wish I could. Um, and then... That's actually not that bad, like... Like, that's alright, right? Like, it, like, it's not good, but it's not awful. It's pff, decent. Employees look exactly the same, but he still knows and calls all of them by name. This is probably what, like, subconsciously inspired that Groove video, oh my god. Call a girl beautiful a thousand times and she'll never notice. Call a girl fat once and she'll never forget it. That's because elephants never f- <laughs> No, I never- I never found this funny, guys. Okay, don't worry, it is just- it was, um, somebody hacked my account and reblogged it. What are you doing, 13-year-old me? Stop this. YouTube server for ads? YouTube server for videos? I wish it was still like that. It's the exact opposite now. Um, you don't know what you've got until it's gone, man. Okay, well, this, like, this is cool, right? Like, 13-year-old me, you knew where it was at, man. This is actually genuinely quite impressive to look at. And thank you memeguy-com for posting this. When the pizza I ordered finally gets delivered. Oh look, he 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 eats it like I eat the, the, the pizza when it comes to my door. I get it. That's awesome. I don't know why I retweeted a Dr. Phil book meme. I, I didn't know who Dr. Phil was, but sure. And how come he looked exactly the same? I guess this is only like a few years ago. Wow, this isn't that long ago. And I've changed so much. And Dr. Phil has changed so little. What? What's happening? I mean, a lot of this isn't that bad. It's just very basic. It's just very, you know, when I go back to school after a long holiday break, I have no memory of this place, you know. Um, why is that picture so tiny? You know, I followed the kind of thing that would say so, so, so much internet. Like, it was very XD random kind of thing, which I guess was just the comedy of the time, so... Um... Sure, <laughs> but it's... It's still kind of not good. Also, I'm seeing a lot of watermarks from memeguy.com. Is that an actual website? Memeguy... Uh, memeguy.com. Memeguy.com. It's an actual website with about... Eight pictures on it. Actually, when was this? When did I make all these? Okay, here we go. It was... Oh no, I was... It was 2014 to early 2015. That's not that long ago, oh my god. Right, so I would have been 13 to 14. I would have made this account when I was 13 and then use it. That's too recent for comfort. Anyway, now we have got my first video that I ever made. And, um, <sighs> this is something. Right, so this would have been around 2014, and uh, around this time, we were beginning to see MLG videos, or montage parodies, beginning to trend and get out there and get super popular by people like Pyrocynical, Ancient Reality, No Fuckers, all them. And I found these incredibly hilarious, although, in my defense, I was like 14, Pyro was 18, um, he was my age now when he made MLG Teletubbies. So, as the first video I ever properly made, I... It was a school project, and I made it into a montage parody. So I'm gonna blur out everyone's faces 
all the logos and things like that, and, um, <sighs> enjoy. Yeah, so this was a project for the Chinese subject I used to take, where we, we just had to make a video where we spoke Chinese in a restaurant setting, I guess. So, masterfully edited by Michael, it... <laughs> Um, th this bit here was just a preset. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Stop! Stop! It's it's not good. It's um for, for fourteen year old me making a funny face doesn't make you funny. At least that's something I learned. Unlike Lele Pons over here. I remember this was recorded on my, I think it was an iPhone five, and so, so we have these little speckles here because I think I dropped the phone and and the camera got messed up. Um, so yeah, uh, high production. <laughs> you have the right. Go around me. Ah, uh, yeah. So <laughs> I just I uh, I wonder what my teacher thought. I God. Okay, so most of it follows this very n very nonsensical line until about two minutes and forty seconds in, where the video ends. But then the rest of it is just bloopers, which is just an excuse for me to edit the thing with Doritos, Mountain Dew, and explosions. And so we got this. No way. No way there's more. What? Whoa. What's going to happen right now? No way. Typos are always funny. <laughs> MLG bloopers. <laughs> Why is it so loud? <laughs> and there's this Illuminati, Illuminati's the meme. And yeah, there we go, the, the, the creative genius of 14-year-old of Michael Kaczarski. Ladies and gentlemen, me. And like, at the time, I, I thought this was awesome. And obviously, looking back at it now, it sucks. It's, it's the worst thing ever, but yeah. At the time, I thought it was good enough to go and um, legally download Harry Potter and edit that with Doritos and Mountain Dew and then Narnia and then things like that, and then I started making videos with my voice, and then I did a face reveal, and then I started talking about things on the internet. And then, um, then the rest is history, I guess. The, the, here we are now. So, it's, it's been a weird journey, I guess, but it's ended up with, with, with me making a living off the internet, which, I know, it's so weird, man. I know, this is a weird... Th this is way more sentimental that, that, than I meant for it to be, but... Wow, like, going down memory lanes really made me appreciate how much... Yeah, I've grown as a person, and... W when you look back at what you used to be like... Like, it, it can really put that into perspective in a way you didn't think... Was how it... I don't know, man. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, laughing at young me, um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you don't ju judge me too harshly based on it, um, wow, what a weird video, I, I hope you've enjoyed, as always, social media links for Instagram, Twitter, things like that, down below, <laughs> and I'll, I'll see you on the next one, I guess, um, peace.
Nice hat. What are you trying to look like a secret agent?